What's up everyone, Thunderbob here, and tonight I'm checking out The Captain is Dead. This is actually based off a board game I've never played, but it seems pretty interesting. The premise is basically like, imagine if this board game was the last 10 minutes of a Star Trek episode, when all hell is breaking loose, and that's the game. I really love the aesthetic, I just booted this up a minute ago, and like the look of it's really cool. Let's go with the tutorial. In five, four, three, two, one. The presentation is really, really good Stop. here. Foolish human. You're not ready for this level of danger yet. If only you had an omnipotent intergalactic space wizard like me on hand to show you the ropes. I'm pretty sure that's the voice from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, all right then. I'll help you out. It looks like your ship has broken down. Oh dear. If you want to get out of here alive, your primary objective should probably be to repair the jump core. Roger that. Warning. Warning. Unknown vessel detected. Probably. A mysterious alien ship. How intriguing. You're about to experience your first alerts. Happy days. Although I should probably warn you. Alerts are bad. <laughs> I love the style here. This is amazing. 100%. Stand by for damage. They've launched fighters. How adorable! Surely such a tiny little thing couldn't possibly pose a threat to a big fancy starship like yours. Alien ships are bad. <laughs> uh, that's, that's awesome. Increased by 10%. Control sensors are detected. Warning. Warning. Unknown vessel your ship's systems seem kind of fragile. You'll probably want to repair that ASAP if you like being able to survive. I like surviving. System damage is bad. Gravity schmavity. You don't have to worry about this lame old anomaly. You've got a fancy teleporter to zip about the ship with. Let's just hope it stays functional, because otherwise... Anomalies are bad. <laughs> Everything is bad, apparently. How rude. Those aliens just shot your soldier in the face. She'll need to visit the infirmary to get that looked at. What's worse, if more than 12 aliens board your ship, you are dead. That's a very specific number, aliens. Your ship is taking fire, and look, there's that fighter from before. It's adding to the damage. How annoying. Better not let your shields go below zero, otherwise you are dead. I appreciate that this may all be too much for your feeble human mind to take in, so let's do a quick recap. This is probably the best tutorial I've ever experienced. More than 12 aliens, dead. Shields all gone, dead. Jump core to 100%, live! Got that? Good. Now, on with the destruction. I'm getting destroyed here. Looks like more alerts are on the way, and they can really mess with your crew. We'll get back to them later, because the first thing you need to do if you want to survive is... Know your ship! It reminds me of FTL a bit, now, which is a favorite of mine. Rash. Take your time to assess the There's a lot of things. Click and hold those little buttons at the... The external scanners reveal the next two alerts. 
There you go. The external scanners reveal the next two alerts. What is it you humans say? Always be prepared? Prepared to die. <clears throat> Sorry. Insecure Earthlings, your shields can't protect you from the horrors of space. Well, actually, maybe they can, as long as you don't let them fall below zero. Verbal communication is so primitive. The comm system lets you transfer skills between crew members remotely. Knowledge is power, after all. Well, at least the captain left you some crafty battle plans in his journal. These can really save your bacon. So you'll want to use as many as you can. It's not like he'll be needing them now. How typically aggressive of your species. What do you know? There's that fighter again. Why not prove your superiority by blowing it up with a torpedo? Security! Don't make me laugh. Just because your ship has laser turrets in every room, it doesn't mean you're safe. All they can do is zap intruders. A computer? How quaint. Use the CPU to collect skills. Your crew will need them to do stuff. The internal sensors let you see the next three skills. If they happen to be online, that is. Why this is really cool. Why are so obsessed with toys? This cargo pod is full of high-tech tools and handy skills that may, or may not, help save your miserable crew. Corporeal forms can be quite fragile. Look, your soldier has been injured. She won't be able to do much unless you fix her in the trauma station. Computer? How quaint. Use the few humans, always meddling with things you don't understand. Sure, you can research anomalies here, but wouldn't it be safer just to... Without your fancy teleporter, you'll have to walk everywhere, which can really suck up those actions. Ah, the jump core. Looks like yours is busted. Boo-hoo. Get it to 100% if you want to live. I could fix it for you with a snap of my fingers. But I'm not going to. If something's broken, I'm your guy. Who is this up here? Chief Engineer? Anomalous, mm, anomalous. She sounds important. Now then, if you pay attention to the diagram above, you'll notice that Chiefy here has got four actions to spend, and not one, but two engineering discounts. So let's put them to good use. Jump for power at 50%. My mistake, mon ami. There's just one last dreadfully boring diagram before we get cracking. Here are your basic moves you can do with just punch actions. hostile alien. No ship systems or skills required. Have a quick squeeze and then let's get to it. Okay. No more diagrams from now on, I promise. Let's spend one of those lovely actions to get Chiefy to the cargo hold. Just of click course. on the room to beam her right there. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Your crew will always use the teleporter as long as it's online. Now, click on the cargo there, pod and let's grab some such a selection of gadgetry. Each one can be used twice with a different effect each time. If you want to repair the jump core, why not grab a torch? Here's the torch. Why, thank you! Wonderful! We should have everything we need to repair the core now. We Just can click do on it. engineering to beam back over. The jump core is the heart of the ship. Ready. You'll need to repair it to escape. So let how embarrassing. Even with the chief's engineering discount, we don't have enough skills. Hang on. Click on the torch to fire Low it up. Then ain't repair just for that jump core. You know. Oh, did the nasty aliens fire their lasers at you? Don't worry. Don't worry. You didn't I'll think make it would you all be that easy, did it. you? The core has to be at 100% for your ship to escape. That should keep the ship from blowing up. This is really awesome. For a while, at least. I wonder if does this have online multiplayer or is it only local? Be more alerts. Your teleporter is going to blow. And remember that anomaly from earlier. It's about to make your life very difficult. Goram it! <laughs> That's totally from Firefly. Hey, 
I can definitely see how this translates from a board game. She fixed the core, and all she got for it was an electric shock in the back. Let's hope the soldier fares a bit better, eh? She's exactly where she needs to be. So click on the armory to zoom in. Those ill-mannered aliens have roughed up... You don't forget to mention. You can't do anything with aliens in the room. In fact, your options here are limited to... A. Teleport away like a chicken, or B. Punch them all in the face. Yes, Fortunately, option B is the soldier's speciality. Justice is served. There's nothing more dangerous than a wounded crew member. Unfortunately, you still can't use any systems because the soldier is injured. So let's get her to the... In well, that took way more actions than usual. That's increased gravity for you. But you made it to the infirmary. Well done, you. Now, you humans seem to get injured an awful lot. No wonder you invented this thing. You can select any injured crew member in the infirmary and heal them right up. Back in action. There you are. All better. You might want to check the external scanners before you end your turn. I have a nasty feeling they might be about to blow up. A scan in time saves nine, as they say. Standing down. Override available. Activate countermeasure. I hate to say I told you so. If only there was something you could do. But there is. With the Soldier's Command discount, you have enough skills to override the alert. Normally, you'd have to be quicker, but I've frozen time. Outstanding work, Soldier. Your quick thinking has saved the ship's scanners. Now, back to certain doom in the icy depths of space. Cyborg. My cybernetic components safeguard. Finally, a life form disruption. with a bit of panache. Anomalous that increased anomalous. gravity was rather tiresome, wasn't it? Good Anomalous. thing the cyborg here is immune. Let's science the heck out of that anomaly. To the CPU core! Yes. Teleporter offline. The computer is the best place to get skilled. <sighs> Your internal sensors are on the fritz. You could chance it and grab a random skill from the computers, but why take the risk? Let's get those sensors fixed with that nice red tactical skill I see in your pocket. sensors online. Interfacing with ship systems. Operational capacity reestablished. That's more like it. Best not to leave these things for chance, eh? To get rid of those pest great stuff. The terrifying and mysterious peculiarities of deep space are no match for you, are they? There's like a lot of concepts here, but I feel like the interface is pretty awesome. Pretty clear. Pops up, eh? Yes. You could spend all those lovely science skills on a flashy system upgrade instead. It's a shame you've got more important things to worry about. Grab your lab coat and select the research station. That's the ticket. Who needs enhanced shields or predictive monitoring anyways? Select the increased gravity anomaly and then hit research to restore your ship's artificial gravity to a balmy 9 point excellent. Normality has been restored. Now, assimilate the crew and take command of the ship. Just kidding. You're out of actions anyway. Why not just end your turn instead? Caution. Enemy ships are charging weapons. Like a tutorial. That fighter. Again, I really hope this tutorial covers torpedoes. Spoiler alert. It does not. <laughs> Your support is appreciated. Well, hello, counselor. Love the hat. Have we met before? Ah, 
I see your special ability That's Gainan, has already right? given you an extra action because a soldier is nearby. But before we use it, let's check the shields. Forty percent, eh? Hmm. That's not good. But it looks like you need one more tactical skill to repair them. Time to fire up the coxie now. Who has one of those little red tactical skills? Well, that's lucky. Our old pal Chiefy has one spare. Go back to the main of view, course. click on her to bring up her Let's deets, then back. initiate a trade. Thank you. Thanks, Chiefy. You can trade, Try uh, and keep the comm system abilities. operational. Otherwise, you'll have to be in the same room to trade skills. Now, get that fabulous hat to the bridge. Well, well, that is one yes. comfy looking chair. What were we doing again? Oh yes, repairing the shields. Be we don't want them to run out now, do we? Otherwise, kaboom! Well done, everybody. Great work. I really mean it. Obviously, I can't take all the credit, but I'm going to anyway. You would have been instant space dust. I can't help thinking that I've forgotten something important. Let me see. More than 12 aliens equals dead. Shields below zero equals red alerts. Once you've exhausted boring old yellow and orange, you'll encounter the real bad boys. Just one of which could mean instant death. <laughs> Like that one right there. I think I lost the tutorial. In space, no one can hear you whine. You've just learned an important lesson. The cosmos is a dangerous place, and it really wants you dead. In fact, you're going to have to work very hard indeed to avoid ending up just like there. Is that better? I've restored the timeline back to before we start. Your precious crew is safe for now. It's a really cool tutorial. Let's do a quick game. Oh, so there's a... Looks like maybe you can unlock, or maybe they'll add additional crew members later, but... So you have to pick... He gets battle plans to choose from, can treat battle plans from any location, one less action repairing... So she seems really good, because the jump core is like a good way to win. Seems like they start. They have different numbers of cards. So he's more like a, a helper character. I think I'm actually gonna end it for tonight. I got through the tutorial, but I think I want to see if I can play with maybe my wife. It'd be nice to be able to alternate characters and, and play it like an actual board game. And it's a little late for me to start like a 60 to 90 minute game tonight, so. Just kind of taking a look at the characters here, but I'll probably pick this up tomorrow and maybe do a full video. So far, I'm really impressed by the aesthetics, the graphics, the style, um, the artwork, uh, music. It all is really nice and comes together in a cool way. Uh, the gameplay, I do need to go through a couple of games probably before I can comment on that, but I'm impressed so far. So, uh, keep an eye out for another video on this, and thanks again for watching.